guys, so today I'll show you how to you can make your own scam against scam video. So my scam against scam videos they're not real, but they're made for entertainment. So just, just don't call them fake. They are, but they're made for entertainment, so they're not really fake. Um, yeah. And I'll, I'll show you how you can make one of your own. Now, just don't use this for saying like, oh, just don't use it for fake videos, please. Because if you if you make fake videos, then you're a scumbag, and I just dropped something out the back. So don't make fake videos. Um, these, those, the ones that I make, they're completely um, fake. They, uh, they're just for fun. If you watch them, if you think they're real, they're not real. Um, those YouTubers like Pan Magical Gamer, um, that Panda Guy, Twine Cheeks. I, I think Dan Seven A, Dan Seven A, he made real ones. But like Twine Cheeks, Magical Gamer, Panda, they all make fake ones. Um, and yeah, don't trust those ones. They're unless unless they say that their video those are skits or that or they admit that they're fake don't watch them because you're giving them views and they're completely fake so i'll show you how you can make one of your own so what you need to do is go to your training box i mean if you don't have one what are you doing i made i made a little one right here contemporary and so what the most what so what the person would do you either have to have like a floating trap i don't know how to make floating traps so most of the time, most of the time it goes like, oh, 130 mob count, legendary, blah. And they'll be like, and, and they'll be like, they'll be like, they'll be like, while you're dropping it, they'll be like, scammer get scammed. They'll always say scammer get scammed. And it's really stupid. But okay, okay. So you just start saying, give me my guns back, give me my guns back and stuff. And then you say, I'll give you a second chance. And then you like, then you're like, and then you drop like a, a trash gun. Or, okay, so for example, I'm gonna break both of the roofs here. And um, I'm gonna do this. This is one of the um, dodgiest techniques because everybody gets them. But if you have somebody who's trash that saved the world and won't know what to do, but they have loads of guns, I mean, yeah, you can try this on people. I, I recommend don't even scam. So what they'll probably do is, so what you need to do, is, this is just one of the techniques. You divert, you have to take away their edits, drop like a, drop like a, a, um, a, I don't know, a, a 130, and then when they're dropping theirs, when they're dropping theirs, you go, you pick yours back up, and pick, oh, you gotta get over, and pick theirs up, and the acting is just really easy, I'll show you how to do the acting in a minute, so, the acting, you have to be acting or chill, like, when they scam you, when they scam you, like, uh, just do the same thing, Blah blah blah, scam, scam and get scammed. You're like, yo, give me my guns back. You sound really chill for some reason. And then you give them another chance to trade. Then they have to take it. So they take the offer to trade. And when you scam them, they're gonna have to be, they're just gonna be screaming in their microphone, like, give me my guns back. But way louder, super loud. Like, I'm not, I, you don't even know how loud that is. I mean, I wouldn't encourage this normally, but if you go onto like Twine Cheeks' videos and stuff, you can see how good they act. They act so loudly. That's basically how you make a fake Scammer Get Scam video. But um, if you actually want to do real Scammer Get Scam videos, well, um, it's gonna be hard. Uh, it's gonna be hard because so if you want to do real scam and get scam videos, I'd say don't. And you may be thinking, why should I not make real scam and get scam videos? Well, I think I think you should um, record a scammer, and if you can, try and scam and get scam him, scammed him. But it's extremely hard. I've tried to do it. I've done it once, and they don't act the same. They don't act the same. They act, they don't act extremely loudly. They act really bad. Now, most of the time, what they do is, 
they'll be like, okay, three, two, one, then they'll kick you from the game and pick up your gun. Or, or just to test if you're a scammer. And you know, the things that the scammers do to get your trust is that they, um, they're like, oh, come on, let's, um, they're like, oh, oh, I need to go to get the chicken out of the oven. And they drop their guns and they'll be like, I'll be right back. And then if you even walk, if you even not even pick up their guns, if you even walk, they'll be, they'll pick up your guns and be like, you're scammer, scammer get scammed. Oh, you're actually a scammer. So yeah, that's just, one thing that scams you and also also at the start of your videos what i'm suggesting is that you actually don't use floating traps what will they suspect if you have a massive trap box and there's a massive pine cone over it they'll suspect that you're trying to scam them floating traps are extremely just un are just unuseful and yeah so also if you also if says somebody that you know is a scammer if there's somebody that you know is a scammer if you're actually trying to do a real video and you know they're a scammer make sure you say go to your storage and get like a gun that you don't care about so in my case i don't i take this i don't have any storage um, I'll just put some. Just go to your storage, get a gun that you don't care about. Um, I'll just okay. I can't take anything. Just pretend I took something out of there. Uh, to take like a, a 106 or a 58 and drop it on the ground. Uh, so yeah, this is how you test if they're a scammer and you can make a scammer get scam video. So. Uh, um, okay, so what you need to do is drop the gun that you don't care about. Just gonna drop that trash grave to go over there. Say, wait there, wait there. And you stand by the gun, and when you hear them coming over to you, say, okay, I'm back, and then quickly pick it up, and pretend like you didn't see that, just so you know that they're a scammer. Just so you know that there's a scammer. So that, because then they wouldn't suspect that you saw anything. And that's good. So then you can actually make it. That's actually a really good trick. Also, don't don't do a scammer get scam video of any bit anybody else other than you and the other scammer. Because unless you're doing a jewel one and there's four people here instead of well two, then that's okay. If you're doing a jewel trade, then that's fine. Now, how do you do a jewel scammer get scam video? Is that so what you need to do is to do a jewel scam get scam video. Okay, so this is only in a fake one. They're, they're extremely hard to do without getting scammed in a real one, by the way. So make these and okay, so this is basically how you make your jewel trade. Do that, do that. And the jewel trades are actually sad now because, okay, so what they usually do is, and okay. Wait a second. So, what they usually do in the jewel trades was, um, what they usually do in the jewel trades was, um, they'd be like, oh, hey, okay, so you'd have to, like, be like, drop your gun, uh, no, okay, let me just drop a trash gun again. Let me drop this grave to again, again. And you have to drop your gun, and you know, what happens is you edit that wall. Uh, so it, my, you edit that wall, but this is the other guy's friend. And once they drop their gun, you can take their gun and take your gun back. But you have to take your gun back right before you're about to go into there. Because if you're if you're in there trying to get this uh, this guy's guns, he's he's not gonna want to um. He's not gonna want to trade, is he? He, he, he's, he's gonna be like, well, um, okay. He, he's gonna be like, well, his guns are, is there, so 
gonna well I mean it's guns there so I'm gonna take that so you're basically getting scammed and if he's dropped his gun this guy will go like blah 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 but if you need to if but I think you should do jewel trading because then you know they're a scammer okay that's my advice on how to do it a fake scammer get scam video if you want to do an actual scammer get scam video um a few tips just before we go out and leave number one um go into loads of okay so i'm talking about playstation 4 normally here ah okay so go into loads of communities for on xbox go into your groups do um we have fortnite save the world communities in we have one that has a hundred thousand. We have a fresh panda one. We have two fresh panda ones. One that's full, but there's loads of people leaving that. So one that has a hundred thousand and um the blah, blah blah blah. And one that has about um I think it's like twenty K. We have a Dan seven A um community that has about thirty K. We have Twine Trees community that has like eight or ten K. We have loads of communities that you can join. Even most of the time, most of the time what I've realized is that the smaller communities that have like, I don't know, 100 or 400 members, they're actually really good. Most of the, you see all of these guns? These aren't even all of my guns. Most of them are in the storage. You see all of these guns? I mostly got them from really small groups. And like, I got this Bobcat from really small groups. My friend, uh, Max, he has a Bobcat, and my, and he has like three, he has loads. I literally just got this one today, and yeah, that's sick. So you can get all those 130s in small groups. So the second step to doing a real scam and get scammed video is always never, oh, okay, or never trade in their home base. Don't trade in their home base, okay? Don't trade in their home base because what they're gonna do is don't give them party host either. They're gonna kick you from the game and that will be a failed scam against scam video. And if you fail, then there's no point, it's there. And so what I'd, so I'd suggest if you're trying to do a room one is drop a 106 instead, just so you know if they're a scammer. Like, okay, um, drop, uh, okay, I wouldn't drop these actually. Um. I have loads of 106s that I really like. Um, uh, I dropped this 106 typewriter, and yeah, just always start off with 106s, just so you know that they're a scammer. If and if they are, and then be like, yo, okay, okay, give me my guns back, okay. Just be really chill. If they do scam you for a 130, uh, uh, admittedly, you should have dropped a a, a, one for, a, a 106, but. If they're, but if they're like, no, 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 just say, just say, look, if you, look, if you give me back my guns, or if you trade with me again for my guns, I'll give you a, a Nocturno, a 130 Godroll Nocturno. And also, if these guys, no, if these guys, you know what you should also use? If you're going for like Gravediggers, say it's Legacy, because then they'll want it more. Now I would say Legacy Nocturno. I don't think, but I don't think you can get those. I don't know though. Well, because if you could get a Legacy Nocturno, that's sick. And I have a modded Nocturno, but I can't find it in my inventory. Oh yeah, it's in my storage. Never mind. And okay. So once you're in those groups, join the parties and do everything I said. Okay. And once you're in there. Make sure once once you actually convince them to get your guns back, what you need to do is you need to go to a training box and get invisible traps. Uh, and this is what you need. You need invisible traps because if you don't have invisible traps, there's no way you're getting it. Okay, good. So invisible traps, you jump up, you go in there, or or you know what you could do. You can't, in an open train, in a, in an open trade, in an open trade, what you need to do is you drop a trash gun and over there, they drop an extremely good gun. And 
when, when they're running up, you take that extremely good gun, they're like, yo, it's a grave digger, and then they pick it up and it's 34. And, okay, if you are really low power leveled and you don't have any 130s, my advice is to go into giveaways. Now, don't go into these small groups like I told you for giveaways. Go into Fresh Panda groups and Twine Cheeks groups, because, because, look what, okay, I'll show you what I found from a giveaway. I remember, like, a couple things. I got this these and these i got all of these from giveaway and that's nice isn't it so and yeah also if you're if you're wanting to get rid of some guns like uh i have these two 130 founders revolts at no 114 also if you have any purple guns that are 114 my suggestion is don't give them away or back recycle them. 130 is just a 114. And Founders Revolts, they're actually quite rare, so. So, yeah. And, anyway. If you're looking to trade, my advice is go into all of those good um, groups and make a scammer get scam video. Just remember, the three rules of a fake one. Scream loudly. Be, ch be chill when they scam you. Make sure to get their trust back and scam them. They have to scream extremely loudly and say your head looks like a sausage. Three, three tips for the um, the actual fate, the actual um, real scam get scam videos. Um, make sure to go into really big communities and clubs, groups, whatever they're called in Xbox and also the really small ones and make sure to, uh, and make sure to enter okay step two, wait a second step two make sure to enter loads of trades and giveaways to see if they're scammers and step and step three always try to earn their trust back because and never get never give them party leader or trade in their home base because if they kick you then you're not getting your stuff back and it's failed okay and that's my scammer get scam video if you want to see more scammer get scam video please hit that like button if we could get this video to five likes that would be mental and i'll do another video on fortnite save the world scammer get scammed i really enjoy fortnite save the world scammer get scammed because they're so fun like if you've ever played a scammer get scam if you have ever played save the world and did a scammer get scam video real or fake they're actually really fun to do Save the world is a great game mode. And Battle Royale's getting a bit boring now. You know, we didn't have an event at the end of last season. It was really boring. So I'm, I wouldn't really want to make more Save the World content. Especially now that me and my friend Max, which you know who he is, we've all we've been entering loads of giveaways and I got and we've got all of these 130s and locks. So yeah. And also Last tip for doing a real, a real um, thingy. Don't give away a legacy Jacko, okay? I know everybody has them now. Don't give them away, okay? If if somebody asks you for a legacy Jacko, they're gonna scam. I've every time I've asked and asked somebody for a legacy Jacko, it's been a scam. But anyway, I really like to do more save the world content for you on YouTube. I'd like to do more videos in general. You know, my thoughts on the corona, uh, I mean the coronavirus, just need to clear that up. I don't think it's very, I think we're all overreacting about it. I think we're all overreacting about it. So, on the first day of school, since my parents were, well, I had to go to school and uh, the day after well on that day i couldn't go to school the next day so yeah it's it's been really weird now i don't even think i can go outside i probably can but um yeah and okay so if you're gonna ha if so if you're having to do something please make sure that you stay indoors and you don't do anything also, if you're, go if you're doing social awareness, good job. Okay then. 
Mate, okay, remember, if you like the video, five likes, I'll do more Save the World videos. I just don't like Battle Royale that much anymore. It's boring now. Okay, so I'll be signing off. Bye!